Alright, so today we're going to talk about the movie Little Buddha, Kurt Cobain, Osho, and Buddhism, and the concept in Buddhism, the Maitreya, the final Buddha. And a lot of people believe, or there's, I should say some, at least some, that believe Osho was the Maitreya. To start off, in a nutshell, the movie Little Buddha is about a boy who is believed to be the reincarnation of this, of a great Lama, a Lama spiritual teacher. This actor that played the main character in Little Buddha was born on the same day that Kurt Cobain would later die on, 4-5 April 5th, and Lane Staley died on the same day. Just uploaded that video. And, you know, Lane, again, Lane Staley, Kurt Cobain, uh, out both out of the Seattle area. I mean, what are the chances of this stuff? I mean, come on. And did I mention this uh, in this movie? The main character and his family live in Seattle. <laughs> I mean, you know, Kurt Cobain had an imaginary childhood friend named Bada a name he derived from Buddha as he was allegedly into Buddhist teachings at a young age. And this is why he named his band Nirvana, which is the ultimate goal of Buddhism. Kurt's body found on the day Buddha was born, April 8th. And we'll talk about that connecting 48 a little, probably at, yeah, at the end. Buddha's birthday, not to be confused with the day Buddha died, which is known in Buddhism as the day he was spiritually born, that's there. There was a confusion when I was researching this, but but you know, think you, you got to think in terms of spirit, you know, spirituality when you're talking about stuff like this. So this date is May fifteenth, which is known as the day he went into peri nirvana or nirvana after death, and this day. Is known as Viesk Visak Day or Buddha Day. Yeah, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but both of these phrases equate to 47. Buddhism is all about balance, or as they call it, the middle path, the middle way. Middle path equals 47, like middle alone does. And this is because the four and the seven represent the heart and the mind chakras. Chakras 47. Therefore, if one is in tune with the heart and mind equally, then they are in perfect balance, perfect harmony. And can be represented by the number 47. So, four heart, seven mind. It's the union of them. One. And 1 also equals 47. This is the significance behind this number. And this is why Little Buddha came out of span of 4 months and 7 days after Osho's death anniversary. And for anybody that doesn't know who Osho is, oh, just a spiritual guru, you can look him up. And Osho's real name is Chandra Jain, which equals 47. Nirvana, 47. The original Buddha's first name, Siddhartha, 47. And this movie came out 47 days after Kurt's body was found. Or otherwise said, 40. this movie came out 47 days after Buddha's birthday. And like I said, the main character of it in this movie, Little Buddha and his family, they lived in Seattle, where Kurt died. Where Lane Staley died as well. And Seattle has a north coordinate of 47.60 degrees. And how I was just talking about Buddha Day, also known as Visak Day, 1211 in Jewish Gematria. No show was born on 12 slash 11. The Maitreya is a concept in Buddhism that's regarded as the fifth and final Buddha. And some have said, like I said, Osho was this Maitreya. And Buddhism and Rajneesh are a perfect, because Rajneesh is, is Osho's first name in Buddhism. Rajneesh, perfect match in the base ciphers and all the base ciphers. 
And this is why this movie, Little Buddha, synced up with his with his birthday, or what would have been his birthday as it came out, to a span of 201 days before what would have been his birthday. The Maitreya, said to be the fifth messiah, fifth messiah, phrase equating the 201, supposed to be the savior of mankind, coming savior of mankind, savior of mankind 201. And another title for the Maitreya is Ruler of Humanity. Ruler of Humanity equals 1229 in Jewish Gematria, 1229, the 201st prime number. And as the Jesuits are probably behind this, as it's syncing up with them, you know, the Jesuits behind Kurt's de death, I've proved that. Jesuit Order, the Jesuit Order 201. Osho died exactly 220 months before Kurt's body was found. Kurt's birthday on 2 slash 20. Osho died two months and 20 days before Buddha's birthday. The date Kurt Cobain's body would later be found on. I mean, and little Buddha came out on the day leaving 220 days in the year. In addition, as you see here, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but another form of the name Maitreya, this phrase, the Maitreya Buddha, but with this form of the word in it, equals 1373, which is the 220th prime number. Buddhism all about the middle way. Middle way, 1373 in Jewish Gematria. Again, this is the 220th prime number. The phrase, the holy Maitreya equals 220. Eastern mysticism, 220. Furthermore, key concept in Buddhism is the eightfold path, eightfold path, 220. And monks in Jewish Gematria equals 220. On top of that, you know, what it, you know, take off the zero of 220, you get 22. Osho called a master, guru, master, guru, both 22 in the same cipher and the most pure cipher, just as Buddha does. Also, mind, 22 in that same cipher, you know, mastering the mind, think about it. All this is synced up, and 22 is the second master number. You got 11, 22, and 33. Think about it. 22 is in the middle. It's the middle master number, middle way. Think about it. And the Maitreya is the final Buddha. That phrase, the final Buddha, equals 408. And this is, resembles the date of Buddha's birth or the date Kurt's body was found on. Buddhist equals 48 and middle way equals 48. The day Buddha died, not spiritually, of course, but physically, is known as Buddha, however you pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. And this phrase equals 48. Uh, so in connection to all this, I had a, this person commented on my video on Osho, Kurt Cobain, their connections to Buddhism. Like I said, I covered it previously. And he commented saying, Buddha's prediction was that the next Buddha will be Maitreya, which means a friend and that he will kind of reform Buddha's teaching. He says, the best thing Osho did was to point out that Buddha made a mistake by promoting monkhood, and yet lived a full life as a prince, so it was easier for him to reject worldly things. But not everyone have, had lived the life of a prince. And he was saying Osho was insisting on calling his followers friend, said that everyone should be called a friend, and that's what Maitreya means. So yeah, he's making this connection to or Osho to Buddha or the Maitreya. And then he continues and he says, Osho said that he wishes the new Buddha be rather a musician, that he would carry bliss through art. And that's what Kurt Cobain did. So I will say, I tried to search for Osho saying that, anything regarding what he just said here, and I could not find it. But if I'll just take his word for it, I guess, you know, that's kind of evidence suggesting or supporting what I'm saying here, what I'm showing. What I did find, though, regarding a musician and this, you know, tying it to Buddhism 
in Osho is this Indian sitarist, uh, if that's even a word, Ravi Shankar. But th this guy, he was born on April 7th, 4 slash 7. Think about the 47 connections I talked about. And he died on Osho's birthday. Well, what would have been Osho's birthday if he was still alive? And it's kind of just interesting how all this ties in. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.